Tesla has announced that they're going to be having an autonomous car event or a investor's day, if you will, on April 22nd, 2019. There's a few interesting things that our investors want to hear come out of this event. And if that does happen, it could potentially be the catalyst that sends Tesla stock well above $300 per share. It's been hovering around the $270 range for the last few weeks. And in my opinion, investors are just waiting for a big announcement from the company to send the stock higher. So am I buying more Tesla shares here before this event? Well, stick around for the whole video because first we're going to be discussing what I expect to see at this event, what Tesla has kind of hinted at so far. And then at the end, I'm going to cover whether I plan to buy more shares before this event. So this event is actually expected to provide more information about Tesla's plans and technology for self-driving cars, which is something that the company has really pioneered for consumer cars. Musk is confident that Tesla is vastly ahead when it comes to this technology and he intends to show the world exactly how far ahead on the 22nd. And in a recent podcast that Musk was actually a part of, he actually said that an autonomous car is arguably worth 5 to 10 times more than a car which is not autonomous. And he strongly believes that people will start to only realize this in the future about 5 to 10 years out. Now the official statement from Tesla gives us a bit more detail on the actual event, but it is still fairly vague. They say that Tesla is making a significant progress in development of its autonomous driving software and hardware, including their FSD computer, which is currently in production and will enable full self-driving via future over-the-air software updates. So what we can gather from this statement is that there's a lot of brand new technology Tesla has been working on behind the scenes, which they haven't really announced to the public yet, and they're going to be doing that on the 22nd and actually giving a chance for the public to test drive this technology. And honestly, they can show us a car that is 100% autonomous without any sort of human input. This will definitely change the way that people are looking at Teslas, looking at autonomous cars, and it'll definitely revolutionize the industry and set us forward into a new era of self-driving cars. And what I love about Tesla specifically versus the competition is that they've had their cars out on the roads for a few years now, and as a result, they've clocked in well over a million miles of real world tests. And this will always trump simulations or kind of a controlled environment because when it's out there for consumers to use, there's always going to be new issues that are uncovered. And because Tesla has been using this for so long now, they're able to iron out all of these bugs, whereas the competitors haven't had that opportunity to do so yet. So I think it's very important to recognize this from Tesla and give them credit where credit is due, because when manufacturers do start to release their fleet of cars in say 2020, 2021, or even further, they're gonna have a lot of these bugs and issues to fix as well in the first few generations. So Tesla is miles ahead of the game here. Now, another huge piece of news, which is expected to be addressed at this Investor's Day conference conference is the fact that Tesla does plan to enter the ride hailing game, essentially competing with Uber and Lyft. The difference, however, with Tesla versus the competition is that they're going to be able to fully autonomize this with their Model 3s and there's going to be no human driver, no human input necessary, and everything's going to be handled by the car itself. And this, of course, would drive down prices for a service like this to consumers because they're not going to have to pay a driver like the competitors Uber and Lyft has to. So essentially, Tesla would be disrupting an industry that these companies have disrupted just a few years ago. It's actually pretty crazy to see how fast technology is moving, and I love to see that Tesla is ahead of the game here when it comes to this. Now you might be wondering, do they plan to make a new model of cars for this service? Do they plan to kind of make a new production line for this service? Well, the thing is that Tesla actually recently announced that they're gonna be releasing a leasing program for the Model 3s. And the plan here with this program is that once these cars are leased out and they're returned, they're gonna be then using those returns for their fleet. So this is very smart by Tesla because it kind of puts the onus on the consumer to take that depreciation hit over the first few years over that lease term. And then when that car is returned, Tesla is gonna be able to pretty much put these out on the road and just enjoy pure profits from this service. It's a very smart way to repurpose their cars, but it does bring up a small concern here, which is how long can these cars actually last? Well, in a recent statement, Musk actually said that he expects Model 3s to last 1 million miles with a few thousand dollars in repairs during that lifespan. These repairs will include things like the battery module replacements, which will need to be replaced to ensure that it actually meets this threshold. And if this is true, which I don't see any reason why it can't be, this is gonna be a huge game changer for Tesla and it will drive a brand new revenue stream for the company 
which will be highly profitable in my opinion. So think about this from a consumer standpoint, right? Like say you wanted to go from point A to point B, you open up the Uber or Lyft app, whichever one you choose to use, and you see that the estimate for the regular service, say Uber X, for example, is $15. Well, now what if Tesla was able to cut this cost in half because they don't have a driver? There's no miscommunication with another human because again, there's no driver. The car knows exactly where to pick you up because it's smart enough to use GPS technology to pinpoint to that location. And you're going to be getting a premium vehicle like a Model 3 as opposed to an Uber X vehicle, which are typically lower class vehicles. And all of this will be included for, say, some something as half the price, like $7. Which would you be more likely to use? I know for me personally, I would 100% of the time, if this was the case, use the Tesla option. But the real potential is not just with Tesla specifically, it's also with consumers. Now think about this, if you were able to use your car to actually earn you true passive income from a service like this, wouldn't you consider being part of that? Well, let's lay out a scenario here. So you typically hop in your Tesla, it drives you to work automatically, drops you off at work, and then once it drops you off, you can enable a feature where it drives around by itself, picks up people, drops off people, and you're earning true passive income from this while you're at your job. And then of course you set an alert saying, at this time, come pick me up. So the service stops at that point, the car comes, picks you up, and drives you back home. There's absolutely nothing required from you to actually maintain this. Tesla is gonna do everything on the back end to maintain this kind of autonomy service. And as a result, you're gonna be paying them a small portion of it, but you're gonna be earning a lot from doing nothing just for having a car drive people around. This is true passive income in my opinion because there's nothing additional that you're gonna be doing to earn this revenue stream. And this may not be as far-fetched as you may be thinking because Musk has acknowledged this previously and has said this is something that they are looking at possibly doing in the future for their consumers. And I think this feature alone, if it is released, will spike sales in Tesla cars because now it's gonna be another reason why you'd want to own a Tesla because essentially you could theoretically have this car pay for itself without you doing any other work. And here's the craziest thing of all, all Tesla cars shipped from 2016 onwards has this capability and it can be unlocked from a simple software upgrade when Tesla pushes it out to their consumers. You don't even need to buy a brand new Tesla to potentially have this in the future. You can go out there and buy a used Tesla and still benefit from this. So clearly this investor's day or autonomous day as Tesla is calling it, is gonna be a pretty big catalyst for investors. But am I buying more Tesla stock before this event? The answer is I'm not because I am pretty content with my position right now. Members of my VIP group, link in the description if you're interested, are already aware of my long-term position in Tesla and what my cost basis is in there as well. And of course, if you follow my YouTube channel, you do know that I recently did open up a swing trade position in Tesla. But the thing is that my cost base is actually around $269 per share for that position. And I am at a slight profit here because stock is trading at around $273 per share or so right now. So there's no real incentive for me to add to this position right now. That being said, if this investor's day is a flop or people are not as thrilled about what's announced at this event and the stock price drops to say $250 per share, maybe lower than that, I will most likely be adding to this position. And if you want to know if I do add to this position or maybe it spikes up and I sell off the swing trade position, make sure to subscribe because I will make a video on that when I do do that. Also keep in mind a huge catalyst next week is that Tesla will be announcing their earnings on April 24th. So stay tuned for that because it's really shaping up to be a Tesla week up ahead. Now what I want to hear from you guys is I want to know in the comment section down below if you think that Tesla will close off this upcoming week in the green or in the red. Will the stock actually go up this week or will it go down this week? Let me know in the comment section down below so I can tabulate these results and kind of address them in a future video. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you're interested again in more Tesla videos, I'll leave a link up here, check one out. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see a follow-up video on the Investor's Day where I covered that, let me know in the comment section down below as well. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.